Hi guys, Anton from Flytrap here again today with what is in effect number 5 and the final little addition to this initial 5 man release uh, of our Grotta Rebellion Bomber Crew members. Today I'd like to introduce you to our Bomber Combat Medic. He's a parachutable combat medic. His name is Donk Hungjaw. And he makes number five in this initial starter set of uh, of Grotta Rebels that I've been working on behind the scenes. As with his brothers, Donk measures in at about 22-23 mil to the tip of his adornment, 20 millimeters from toe to eye. Donk has been sculpted in the same fashion as the other four figures have been over our um, wire mesh armatures. But with Donk, I've pushed the boundaries even further. Donk Hungjaw was sculpted entirely in an unmodified blend of green stuff over a wire mesh armature. He was sculpted with the following tools. Initially, my jewel screwdriver tool for medium level detail, my custom designed paddle for smooth surfaces, polishing and rounded edges, and my primary tool, a custom designed tool for fine detail and straight edge surfaces, my sewing needle tool which I've just made out of piece of dowel, a sewing needle, and a piece of battered steel held into place by firstly drilled and inserted through the core of the dowel and then glued and locked into place with milliput and here we have the brown Aves epoxy sculpt. And that's what uh, today's model has been sculpted with. As with Old Reb and slightly less our Bombardier, I've sculpted Donk Hungjaw with a, uh, a bulbous belly sort of a bloated midriff. He does wear the flight suit uh, that you can see on the pilot, the co-pilot and, and the bombardier. Uh, his belly is obviously exposed and hanging over his belt. You see the belt low slung there with all the pouches and medical equipment that you'd find hanging off him, draped over his, over his waist. He has his little medicinal canteen here. And here's his, his flight jacket, obviously that's going to be going over the belly. Uh, he has a, the flap wide open. And he's got the larger collar region with all the nice fur lining. Um, because of his nature as a parachutable combat medic, this, this particular grot is, is thrown out of the back door of a bomber or a gunship or an airship. And he, uh, he parachutes into the thick of battle to render medical assistance. Um, due to the bumpy nature of his role, I've adorned him with a large shoulder pad. It has the medical symbol on it. That's his left arm, his left shoulder. His right shoulder has a similar bracer, a large sort of pauldron, with a medical torch attachment. For uh, rendering medical assistance in low light situations. Across the top of his belly, strapped through is a medical belt, uh, which carries obviously first aid equipment, other sort of medical pouches, bandages, uh, and medicinal vials. So he's a heavy laden uh, grot, which uh, does sort of add even more dimension to his, his massive girth, as uh, quite the little fatty. Here he has his medical satchel, which is his, his core piece of equipment as he's dropped into, into combat. That carries all the, the, the uh, important ancillary equipment that he requires to fulfill his role. And because he's obviously a 
parachutable combat medic. There's this parachute here. It's not located up on the top as with the pilot and the co-pilot. It's more sort of low slung around his, his butt. So you can imagine when he's pushed out of an, an airship, he, the parachute's deployed, he'd be sort of hanging over in a U-shape, um, being slung by the parachute cables. Here's some more additional padding to his, his flight jacket. Uh, he's got here a gauntlet. He's not like old Reb who has a complete bionic arm. Uh, he's just got Here's the detail for his, his flesh arm, uh, an elbow pad, and a medicinal gauntlet, which sort of comes down and branches out into all the detail of his, of his fists, so it's all articulated. Uh, he has a, a medical display unit here. Slightly inspired by the, uh, the wrist equipment on Fallout 4. And that, that's a heavily armed, there's a heavily armoured gauntlet that goes on compasses and tie hand. Donk has his left eye replaced with a, um, a, um, a monocle bionic monocle or a bionic eye of sorts and he has um, old school doctor's equipment I've actually forgotten the name of that particular tool resting across his forehead which the rest of his head remains sort of bare and undetailed again a complete hoot to sculpt. Don Kangjo is one of my favourites and he takes pride of place as number five. The final sculpt in this initial release of, uh, of Grosh Rebels and Bomber Crew. I hope you've enjoyed this little showcase as it's progressed. Um, I'll be doing a lot more in the future and I'll be doing them at a, quite a rapid pace. You know, you've got to strike when the enthusiasm and that motivation, that inspiration is hot. Um, and because I've had such a lot of fun with them, I've now devised a system of, uh, of building upon this. And you'll see these released in white metal uh, very soon. So please uh, stay tuned. Keep updated with our Flytrap Factory Facebook page. Uh, subscribe to this channel for updates. I mean, my channel is going to be updated every week with, uh, with various segments. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, queries, or need some help, tips, or have a project similar to this that you may need some help with, please don't hesitate to drop me a line via Facebook or email, or uh, contact me via the Flytrap Factory webpage, which is just uh, flytrapfactory.com. So thanks for your time, guys. Uh, have a great end of the week, and I look forward to seeing you next time.